obviously, um, you know, we're, we're excited about this, uh, this opportunity. Um, I told the players um, that uh, you know, people think you play for the national championship if you play in the last game, and I don't. Uh, you play for the national championship when you're in this tournament, and you have to win six games to win it. Um, the bracket is, is, is loaded at the top with Kansas, uh, Duke, Michigan State, Auburn being the fourth seed in that uh, group. It's a, it's a pretty darn good, uh, uh, from, a, from a standpoint of profile and national programs, and to be in the top four seeds in this bracket is a tremendous statement for you know, the regular season champions. Um, College of Charleston is, uh, they're a three-headed monster. They've got uh, uh, two great guards um, that play the point and the two, and they've got a great four man. All those guys can shoot threes and average over 17 points a game. So they have three great players and lots of other good pieces. Um, and uh, so we're going to get up and get ready for them. And and um, and then in the next game, you got uh, Chris Jans coaching at uh, New Mexico State. He's a former Wichita State assistant to Greg Jan to uh, Greg, uh, Greg Marshall. And uh, so we're familiar with him. And, and then, of course, Clemson. We saw Clemson in the College of Charleston. In fact, both Clemson and Auburn got three straight days of looking at one another. And so, you know, if we happen to see them, we'll, we'll know a lot about them. So it takes two wins to get to Omaha in the Sweet 16. And, and so that's how, we'll, uh, that's how we'll approach it. Do you think you guys need to hit the reset button a little bit just with the way you ended the season and kind of the uh... One of the you know worst losses of the season against Alabama. Yeah. What, what's your kind of thoughts? We we've lost four out of the last six games. Uh, we're two and four without Anthony McLemore, and the two wins were against uh, you know were against Alabama and and South Carolina, and so we, we clearly aren't as good without Anthony. Um, at the same time, you know, uh, I want them to think back to you know this is still a team that won the SEC. Um, this is still a team that has eight players that are all capable of playing well. Look, we, we had two or three guys play well against Alabama and nobody else. You can't win like that. We need, we need the eight guys that are out there playing to step up and be able to play. So from the standpoint of a reset button, the eight, the, if, if eight's going to be enough, eight guys got to bring it. And, um, and we play best when everybody contributes and we need more contribution from more guys. It can't just be the star power guys. And then, and then guys got to go back to doing what they do. You know, Bryce got to make shots. You know, Jared's got to play. Jared Harper, when he plays well, we win. That's a lot to put on your quarterback, but that's just the truth. And those two guys are going to be going up against College of Charleston's two of their best players. So, um, yeah, I, I do think there's, there's an opportunity to hit a reset button here and see if we can get some of our mojo back.